Hey everyone, I'm Cecilia and you're watching The Dairies. Today we're going to be talking about how I organize our cloth diapers in one of these Trofast units. So for a little backstory, I have been a cloth diapering mom for almost five years now. We cloth diapered since the very first day that our very first child was born and we now have three children who we've had all back to back. So there have been zero days where we have not cloth diapered. So. I've been through a lot of diapers, a lot of different systems, and what we have going right now is definitely my favorite. I'm gonna go through two options with you today because what we're using right now are flats and pre-flats and wool diaper covers. That is not what we use though for our first two kids when they were little. They used, um, oh my gosh, pocket diapers, all-in-ones, that type. We also used a lot of pre-folds when they were born. I feel like we've used them all, but <laughs> I'll show you how I would use the same storage system for those, but we are right now using flats and pre-flats. We have been through the phases where we make up all the diapers after wash and put them away perfectly, so all we have to do is pull out the diaper, but with three little kids, that does not happen anymore, and honestly, it kind of is easier that way. Well, it feels easier. <laughs> I'm sure in theory it would be easier to pull up a ready-made diaper, but let's just go through. Starting at the top here, we have one of these little drawers, and I keep all of our covers in here. Both our wool covers and any pockets that we have. Right now there's only one clean. Um, our diapers are not all clean right now. Most of them are actually probably in the wash. Maybe not most, but we have a full wet bag for sure. This is our least used drawer. Let me just show you. We have in here all of our like inserts. So these are actually just a bag of wet bags and wet bag pail liners. And then I have a little thing that just has our snappies that are always lost in the house. I swear it's so hard to keep track of those. <laughs> and then we have a bunch of, um, what are these called? Hemp little inserts that we'll just add to any diapers that we feel like might need a little extra. A lot of these are in the wash right now, actually. And then we have under here, these are, I think they'd be considered half flats and contours. And these are amazing. We love these, but the company I was buying them from went out of business, or well, she took a break, I think. They're this shape. And then you put in a little folded up half flat, and there's a little diaper. It just makes it way easier, but I kind of, pretty much I decided that I didn't like having two parts. I way prefer to just have one thing that I'm grabbing. That's why flats and pre-flats are our go-tos right now, and they're making life way easier because I was just going through so many different inserts, trying to make good combinations. Like even this drawer, like it is our most chaotic drawer in terms of it has so many different things. And this used to be like, this is a toned down version of like when we did pockets and everything like that. So we keep that in that drawer there. And then moving on to our very frequently used drawers. This top drawer, we just shove all of the wipes in it. And these are all cloth wipes. They're all, all handmade actually, or not all of them. We have like very few that have been purchased, but most of them have just been handmade from old sheets. Oh yeah, actually this one was an old sheet too. These ones were just like receiving blankets we cut up. I didn't even sew the edges of these, but all of these are just cloth wipes. These are super easy to make, especially if you happen to have a serger, you can make them with a sewing machine just as well but the serger definitely takes them next level and next level of easiness. And then moving on to this drawer at the top as well, we have all of our liners. So I'll put these, let me show you some of my favorites. Okay, these ones are from Robin's Nest Weaving and they're the same material as her flats and pre-flats. Uh, it's, it's a, hmm, let me try to remember. It's a bamboo hemp mix, I think. I'm not exactly sure, I'll have to double check, but they are amazing and I just will put these in a flat for when our little one poops. 
it kind of catches that so all we have to rinse off is this and then the rest of the flat can just go straight into the wash or well into the wet bag <laughs> then there are other little liners like some smaller ones that one's all stained up that's lovely and then some odd shaped ones from when we were kind of doing testing because I did make a bunch of these and by I made I mean I bought the fabric and took it to my mom's house and she helped me make them but <laughs> So we have some like a lot of random ones, but these ones are definitely my favorite. They are perfect. But that's what this is. It's just full of liners of different sorts. And then down into this middle big bin are all of our pre-flats. So we have lots of different ones. These are some of the ones that I purchased. At the very beginning when I didn't really know what I loved, see how short this rise is? It's not my favorite, but the prints are really cute. <laughs> but my absolute favorite ones are again from Robin's Nest Weaving. And she has perfected this, guys. So it's one giant piece. All right, so there's no seam on the top one here, but you just grab the middle, fold it, Actually, I don't even normally grab the middle. See, I'm flustered on camera. I usually actually just grab the bottom two corners and just give it a shake and then boom, boom, boom. And now we have a diaper. I could do a whole nother video on these, but yeah, all of our pre-flats go in here and this is my favorite one. Well, my favorite brand, we have multiple of them. So in this last drawer, we just keep all of our flats. So. Just all of our big flat cloth diapers. Um, we have some that are just bamboo, but my favorite ones are the hemp bamboo ones from Robin's Nest again. She did a lot of fabric testing and it's worth it because they're so amazing. The fabric that she uses versus the fabric of my original ones, it's so, it's far superior. So that's everything that we need to cloth diaper. But if I were using, let's go with pocket diapers. I think pockets are the next most needing storage ones because I mean, if you're using all-in-ones, I mean, there's really not much storage for those. You fold them up or you just put them in a pile or something. There's not much to them. But for pocket diapers, you wouldn't need probably this much or at least Okay, let's just pretend it was all the things I had when I did pocket diapers. I would probably do a big bin of hemp inserts like these, because I use these nonstop. And then I would do a big bucket with, these are a bamboo ones. These ones are my favorite when I did pocket. They're sitting to the side right now because I can't bring myself to get rid of like one of everything that my kids wore as little babies. So probably a whole bin of this style of inserts. And then I would do a big bucket of covers. Honestly, you might need even a bigger one depending on how many you have. And then wipes would stay the same. Liners, if you have liners would stay the same. You wouldn't need these covers, but like I said, you might need a bigger one or you can use this one for just like wet bags and any other kind of knickknacks. But that's probably how I would arrange it. I wish I had thought of this system sooner. If I were somebody who pre put them all together right out of the wash, I would honestly even use these bins just to store them. Like a lot of people put them on shelves, which is great, but I never quite loved that. I like to use my shelf space for other things. And this seems like it would be a really good way to just have some folded up ones. I mean, let's be real, we all get sucked in by the cute diapers and the different colors. So I would probably color coordinate or coordinate based on like where my kid wears what cover, but that's maybe a little, <laughs> that's a lot. We can all, we all get sucked into diapers, okay? I'm not alone. You can't convince me I'm alone. <laughs> but this is how we're currently doing it and it is the best solution and honestly, flats and pre-flats are the best diapers.
diapering system at all that I have found. So if you want any more content about diapers, let me know because clearly it's something that I have invested a lot of time, money, thought into. So yeah, I hope that this helps you though and I definitely recommend using a Trofast for your cloth diapers. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and if you liked this video, I bet you're really gonna like this one over here. I'll see you there. Bye guys.